Hi, I'm Sylvia from Noni New Creations and today we're going to make Lottie the Lamb. She comes in three different sizes for the 7x12 hoop, the 6x10 and the 5x7. It is made in three hoopings. I've printed out the hoopings, um, there's three of them, and the first of them is for the limbs and the ears and the tail. And then the second hooping is the back, and you're going to use the tail from the first hooping in the back, so make sure you do it in the right order. And then the third hooping is the body, and at the end you're going to put the back on that. I've cut out my bits of fabric, and all the details are in the PDF file, and this is the bit for the applique for the face and for the tummy. So let's begin. If you're going to be using minky or fleece, I would advise you use some water soluble and also I'm using some temporary adhesive spray and I got all my color threads ready. So now I'm ready to start. I've loaded a design into the machine and as you can see we're going to do the limbs first, which is the first hooping. And my machine is quite clever, it'll show you what it's going to do and it's going to draw or sew an outline to show me where the fabric is going to go. So it's done the outline and now we're going to put the fabric on top. Okay, I'm just going to use some self um, temporary spray. And we're going to place the fabric over the placement line, making sure it covers it all. And then we're going to take it back to the machine. Right, we're now going to um, stitch out his feet. And because I'm using Minky, I'm going to use water soluble. Okay, <clears throat> it's done all four feet, and now I'm going to remove the water soluble. So I've removed the water soluble, and now you're going to put your second bit of fabric on the top. Now, if you like, you can tape it on either side or pin it, but I like to just use my hands actually. Okay, it's stitched it all out and now what we're going to do is remove it from the hoop and remove all the stabilizer and cut it along the stitch outline, leaving about a quarter of an inch and then we're going to stuff it a little bit and put it aside. I've done all the trimming around the stitch line and I left about a quarter inch as you can see and there is a line in the middle here as you can see and we're going to cut that so it'll cut these things in half. Right, now we're going to turn them inside out and I like to use hemostats. I think I've told you about these before. They've got these grips here and they're e really easy to turn things inside out. So what you do is you grab and you squeeze the fabric and you just go like that. And you can even push them out like that. Okay, we're going to do that for each one of these. I've turned them all and now we are going to stuff them. 
You don't stuff the ears, but we are going to stuff the tail so you get your fiber stuffing. And what I do is I even use these hemostats to stuff them. I never like to stuff them really, really hard because I always think babies like nice soft toys and you leave quite a bit of empty stuff here. So you do this for all of them, for all of them, for the limbs. It's just to give them a little bit better shape. Okay, so they're all stuffed here and this bit up here is empty. And I'm going to do that for the other three. So I've stuffed them all now and I've left quite a bit on the top without any filling. And this little tail here we're going to use in the next hooping. Right, this is the second hooping and this is the back. So what the machine is first going to stitch out is a placement line where we're going to put our fabric. So now I'm going to remove the hoop from the machine and we're going to place the fabric down. Okay, now we're going to line up the fabric with the line here. And you can tape it if you want or spray it, but I just hold it. Okay, we're going to put the hoop back in the machine. Next it's going to stitch out the center line, which are going to be quite big stitches. It's just to give you an idea where the center is when you line it up with the front later on. And now we're going to do the placement line for the tail. We're now going to place this tail and to get the tail in the correct position, um, as you think of this as his little bottom, um, and the tail is going to go like that. So we're going to turn it around and place it like that. So it's a little bit at an angle like that and then we do the next color now we're going to place the second bit of fabric so we're going to put the right sides facing together and we're just going to place that over it and then we're going to return the loop to the machine now we're going to do the last color and that's going to give the back some shape and I usually just hold the fabric We're now going to remove the design from the hoop and remove all the stabilizer. I've removed all the stabilizer and now we're going to trim it neatly 
along the stitch line and I just well, I'll show you what I do um, I just leave a little bit here so I've trimmed it around the stitch line and as you can see over here I just went up straight to give you a little bit of material extra material and I've put a little nip in here so it'll sit nicely when you turn it inside out and this is what it's looking like So we're going to put that aside and we're going to use that in the next hooping. This is the third hooping and the final one and here we're going to do the front of the body. And the first colour is going to be the outline. stitch the outline which is, gives us a guide where to place the fabric and now I'm going to place the fabric on top. I'm going to use some temporary adhesive spray and the reason for that being is when we do the eyes and that it's quite um, dense and the stitching will turn out a lot better. It's also a good idea to use cutaway stabilizer for this. So we place the fabric, make sure it covers the outline. And then we return the hoop to the machine. Next it's going to do the placement line for the face. So now we're going to place the fabric for the face on top. And it's going to secure it now. It's done the um, outline here and now we're going to trim really closely to the stitch line. So this is nicely cut right around the stitch line and then we're going to do the satin line around it. I'm going to use water soluble for this because I'm using minky. If you're just using plain cotton you don't need to do that.
dry, it's done the face now, and next it's going to do the patch on the forehead. Right, it's done that, and now it's going to do the outline. Right, now it's going to do the outline. done all the outline now and next it's going to do the white of the eyes. done both whites of the eyes and now you have to, um, the next color is the color of the eyes. We've given her nice brown eyes, but you can use any color that you like, obviously. And now it's going to do the black around the eyes and the pupils and the mouth. So it's all done all the black ones now, so now we're going to do the white of the eye. Next we're going to do his nose, her nose.
it's got a nice pink nose now and the next color is going to be the little highlight on the nose now we're going to do the um, applique for the tummy okay we're going to do the outline for the applique now and I usually use the same color as I'm going to do the decorative stitch around it later on. So off we go. Okay, now I get my applique fabric and put it on top. Make sure it covers all the outline or the placement line and you do the next color. Now we're going to trim neatly next to this stitch line. Now it's going to do the decorative stitch around the applique. It's done the decorative stitch now and now you can personalize it so you can put any text here that you want and I'm just gonna write Lottie in it now. It's now just stitching out Lottie but you can put anything, any word in here that you like. So that's her name and next we're going to apply, um, do the ears and the arms and the legs. Now it's going to do the placement line for the ear. And what you got to do is this is the ear and you're going to fold it like that. So it's almost in half, not quite. And then you're going to place the ear. So you're going to turn the ear over after having folded it a little bit. And you're going to place it right to the top of the placement line. Make sure you're over the edge. And then stitch the next color. Now it's going to do the placement line for the arm. Um. 
So you're going to place the arm upside down so the embroidered side here is facing down and you're going to line it right up with the top of the stitch line. Make sure you got um, some fabric on the other side and you press for the next. So it secured the arm there and now it's going to do the placement line for the leg. Again, we're going to place the place the leg with the embroidered side down and you're going to line it up right to the top of the stitch line and you're going to do the next color Now it's going to do the other side, the other leg. And again, you line the leg, the embroidered side down, line it right to the top of the stitching, hold it down and start the color. So now it's going to do the arm. And again, embroidered side down, right to the top, making sure you leave some fabric there, and do the next color. So now it's going to do the placement line for the ear. Right, so now we have the second ear and it's going to go like that. So we're going to fold it over a tiny bit. So it looks like that and then turn it over and we're going to line it right to the top of where the stitching starts here like so and then we start the sewing Right, it's really important that you do do it right to the top, otherwise her ears will be lopsided. Now it's going to be the fun part, we're going to put the back on, but first we're going to tie her up. Right, here we're going to start taping, you get a nice big long piece of tape. And you put it like so, and you stick her ears to it. A bit too long, it doesn't matter. So that's that. And we, we cut that a bit. What we're concerned about that it goes outside the stitching line, so because we don't want anything to get caught. So we're gonna make sure he's nice and cuddly. Get another big bit of tape. We're gonna do the arms.
and they're nice and flat and the same with the legs And now we're going to put the back on. Right, so what you got to do is put the back on top with the right sides facing each other. You line the center line up with your center of your hoop at the top and the bottom. And you just put the fabric down, make sure it covers the top bit here. And the machine is going to start stitching from this side first. So you can pin this or tape it, but I find I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to pray and it will work. Believe me. Okay, I've raised my pressure foot to the highest stand and I've also put my machine on the slowest speed. So if you can do that with your machine, I would suggest you do that because it will help. Okay, off we go. I hope you're all praying. And just hold it down. And just press the fabric down and stop and start as often as you like to make sure the fabric is all right that's what I do make sure it's in the center and off we go again Come into the center here. Gonna go over its ear now. Over its arm. leg make sure you press it down keep it as flat as possible I'm 
and that's it. Now we're not going to stitch the last color because that's just to prevent the machine from going to the center. Now I hope you all noticed how easy that was. It doesn't go over any of the bulky stuff because it goes around it. So you can gently guide it with your hand. Okay, we're going to remove it from the hoop now and turn them inside out. Right, we're going to remove all the stabilizer. And if you've used cutaway stabilizer, obviously you're going to have to cut that. And you take all these bits out. This is my sewing buddy, alias Dave, and he usually does all the trimming. He's very good. Don't go too close to the line. So you're going to cut about a quarter inch all the way around. If you want to hire him, he's for hire. <laughs> he's very experienced in stuffing and cutting. So I will leave him to it now. He's all cut out. You can take this stitching out. We're going to turn him inside out. You've got to get his arms first. It's a bit tricky with all this tape around it. You just have to be a bit brutal. Okay, here he comes. Or she. Right, here she is in all her glory. Nice little back, with a little tail. And all we got to do now is stuff her. Right, we'll stuff her now. So I've completely stuffed her. And now all we have to do is sew up this little hole that you got at the bottom and you just slip stitch it. Right, she's all finished now. I've stuffed her and I've sewn her all up nicely. She's got a nice little bottom, a nice little tail, and she can sit up all by herself. And now she's going to join the rest of the family. So that's Lottie the Lamb. This is the 7x12, the 6x10 and the 5x7 size. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I hope it will help you making your own lamb. Thanks very much for watching and until next time.